but he always comes back. I was reading his kids said that he's <laughs> like a son and that he doesn't come visit his own children because he's always with the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can go visit his kids when the penguin goes out to do his thing. Yeah, exactly. The what penguins, a story. You know, the birds got needs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's true. <laughs> All right. Last summer, the National Building Museum gave us the beach. It's that big pit full of balls for folks to relax in. Well, this summer's plan may be a bit more to that penguin's liking, actually, because this is the iceberg. The National Building Museum plans a series of installations that resemble the underwater world. It will be in the Great Hall and will feature portions considered above the water line and others below. It is all set to open wow. in July. You know, that hall is huge, too. It is. We'll fun. see what that looks like. Uh, so organizers of this weekend's Rock and Roll Marathon are shifting the finish line because of all the snow that is still piled up in the parking lots at RFK Stadium. But that didn't stop folks from going to the lots today to get their bags and to register for the big race. You can learn about all the events around the region this weekend at our website, WJLA.com. Well, we have some incredible video tonight of a shocking survival story. Yeah, this one starts with a long border in Texas taking on some steep roads with sharp curves and no guardrails. Take a look at this. Uh, this is Francisco <coughs> Bocanegra. He says he was having the run of his life going 45 miles an hour when something went wrong. He wipes out and then goes off a cliff. After that, I just slid on loose gravel and dirt and some cactuses the rest of the way down, thankfully. Wow. Whew. You can see his friends were right there with him. Fortunately, they immediately jumped out to help. Amazingly, all he had was a lot of cuts and scratches and bruises. Not a single broken bone. Amazing. 45 miles an hour down a hill with rocks and cactuses mm -hmm. and not one broken bone. No, and he's smiling about it. Did you see that? Another one of my small books. I know. You won't find a brother doing that one. <laughs> all right. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 5, smoothing the road. <laughs> Finding out where and when the crews are going to be ready to start filling up some of those potholes out there. But first, celebrity style. You're going to meet the local working woman who's making the stars shine. And then new at 6, Noah's Law approved. The stricter version aimed at preventing drunk driving coming up at 6. Hey, Washington Jeopardy fans. America's favorite quiz show is coming back to D.C. Don't miss Jeopardy's team tournament in D.C. Brought to you by Stratford University.